Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to be comparing and ordering fractions, decimals, and percents. Let's get started. Before we get to the first example, there's one main rule you need to know when you're comparing or ordering fractions, decimals, and percents. Uh, you may have heard the phrase, it's like comparing apples and oranges. That's a very common phrase. And basically what it means is it's hard to compare apples to oranges. They're different, right? Same thing with fractions, decimals, and percents. We can't compare them when they're all different. So the main rule with comparing and ordering fractions, decimals, and percents is that you have to make them all either fractions, all decimals, or all percents, and then compare them. If they're not all the same, you can't compare them. Okay. So with that in mind, let's get to our first example. Example one, which is greater? So we're comparing, here we've got 3 twentieths compared to 16%. We're comparing a fraction with a percent. Now again, the main rule, you got to make them, in this case, both either fractions or both percents. Most of the time, uh, either one will be okay. There's one main thing that you, that you should keep in mind, though, when you're uh, comparing or ordering and you're having to change things into fractions, decimals, or percents. Uh, decimals and percents are fine, right? They're no big deal. If you change everything to fractions, then sometimes you're going to have an extra step because in order to compare fractions, you also need common denominators. So when you do that, sometimes you're going to have extra work uh, to be able to do that. So oftentimes, making them all into fractions is usually maybe not the best choice. So keep that in mind uh, when you're doing these problems. Um, so here we go. Part A. Uh, 3 twentieths or 16%. So do we want to make them both fractions or do we want to make them both percents? And if you remember what I just said, in my opinion, I think it's going to be easier to make them both percents. Well, 3 over 20, uh, remember percent means per 100. So it'd be great if this denominator was 100. Well, that's easy for us to do. 3 over 20, if I want it to become over 100, well, to do that, all I need to do is multiply the denominator by 5. And if I do that to the denominator, to make an equivalent uh, fraction, I need to do that to the, to the numerator. So times 5, and I get 15 over 100, which is the same as 15%. So, which is greater? 3 twentieths, which is the same as 15%, or 16%? Well, that's easy. 16% is greater than 50%, so it's greater than 3 twentieths. So see how easy it becomes once when they're both the same, both percents. Then it's really easy to compare. Let's try B. 79% or 0 0.08. So in this case, we've got two options, and either would be fine. I can make both of these percents fairly easy, easily, and I could also make them both uh, decimals quite easily. So either one works. Uh, you don't have to worry about fractions. So let's see. How about we do both? If I'm going to compare them both as decimals, well then I would need to make this as a decimal and percents to decimals is easy. I just move the decimal place twice to the left. 1, 2, which would mean 0 0.79. Okay. Well, 0 0.79 is greater than 0 0.08, which means 79% is greater. Let's try it the other way. Let's make this a percent. So again, I'll have 79% and I'm changing 0 0.08 to a percent. Decimals to percent, you just go the other way. I move the decimal point twice to the right. So 1, 2, and it becomes 8%. So same thing. Either way I do it. 79% is going to be greater than uh, 0 0.08. So that is greater. Okay, here's some to try on your own. Example two 
Ronaldo, Messi, and myself are practicing penalty kicks on the soccer field. I make 72% of my shots. Ronaldo makes 19 out of 25 of his. And Messi, 0.67 of his shots. Who made the fewest? Okay. Uh, well, first, let's underline our important information. So I make uh, 72%. Ronaldo, 19 out of 25. And Messi, 0.67. So notice we've got a percent, a fraction, and a decimal. Okay. We're going to have to compare all of all three of those to find out who made the fewest. Um, now to kind of be a little, be somewhat organized, I'm just gonna make a little bit of a table. So here's me with 72%. Then we've got Ronaldo, whoops. And we've got Ronaldo at, what was he, 19 out of 25. And then we've got Messi with 0 0.67, okay. Now, if you were gonna use logic, you would probably say, oh, well, it was probably Ronaldo who made the fewest, right? Obviously, it's not gonna be me because I make all my penalty kicks. Uh, but anyways, so here we go. Uh, percent, fraction, decimal. Again, the rule, we gotta make them all the same. We can make them all percents, we can make them all fractions, or we can make them all decimals. Remember, fractions are going to be usually the toughest. So let's skip that and let's think, do we want to make them all percents or all decimals? And really, it doesn't matter. Uh, for me, I'm going to say let's go with percents. So that means this is good. 72% is already percent, so great. 19 over 25. Well, that's easy to make a percent because I can just make that 25 into 100 from my denominator by multiplying by 4 and do the same up here. And let's see, 19 times 4, that's 36. So 76 out of 100, which means 76 out of 100, 76 per 100, which means 76 percent. So actually, Ronaldo beat me in this situation. Uh, and then Messi, to change a decimal to a percent is easy. Just move the decimal point twice to the right. So one, two, and that becomes 67%. So the question, who made the fewest penalty kicks? Well, that was Messi with 67%. Here's one more to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.